Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss exercise 14a. So, we already discussed question number 1, 2 and 3 of exercise 14a. Today, we will start with question number 4. So, see in your textbook, question number 4. Write the class size in each of the following. So, some num class intervals are given. And in this class interval, you have to find the class size. So, what is the given? In the first, it is given 0 to 4. Then it is given 5 to 9. Then it is given 10 to 14. Now, we all know that class size means from the class interval, if you subtract upper limit to lower limit. So, here upper limit is your 4 and the lower limit is 0. So, 4 minus 0 will be 4. Now, next, in second one, the upper limit is your 9, lower limit is 5. So, if you subtract again, we will get 4. Next, upper limit is your 14, lower limit is your 10. So, 14 minus 10 will be 4. So, in this way, we, we have to find the class size of given class interval. So, with the help of this, try to solve question number 4, all the parts in your copy. Now, for question number 5. In question number 5, if you see, some data are given. So, first of all, you have to arrange the data in ascending form. Ascending means... Lower to higher. After arranging the data, some questions are given. So, that question you have to answer from your, the data which you already arranged in ascending order. Like, in the first question, what is the highest score? So, from the data, find out the highest value. Similarly, what is the lowest score? Find out the lowest score. From the data, then what is the range? Range means highest score minus lowest score. That one always give you range. So, you have to give the answers of this question with your data which you already arranged in ascending order. So, similarly you have to do question number 6 also. So, Question number 4, 5 and 6. Try yourself and write in your copy. Now see question number 7. So question number 7 is following data gives the number of children in 40 families. So total number of family is your 40. So we can say total number of observation. Total number of observation is 40 and the number of children are given in this 40 families. So again here first try to arrange in ascending order. So I have already arranged in the ascending order like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 then all the 2's, all the 3's in the data, given data, all the 4's from the given data. All 5's from the given data and all 6's from the given data. So, I have arranged this one in ascending order. After that, we have to write highest observation. So, once we arrange this one in the ascending order, now it is very easy to find the highest observation. So, what is the highest value here? Highest value is your 6. Then the lowest value is your 0. Now, range means what? Range means highest minus lowest. So, 6 minus 0, it is equal to 6. So, here the range is 6. Now, class size. Class size, we have to find from the class interval. Here I have selected the interval as a 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8. Now 0 to 2, 
what will be the class size? 2 minus 0 will be 2. 4 minus 2. For the interval 2 to 4. 4 minus 2 again 2. So it means here the class size is your 2. So we get here class size as a 2. Now we have to write the frequency. Frequency means number of number of times the observation comes. So first count 0 to 2. 0 to 2 interval means you have to see the value 0 and value 1. Not the 2. Here we will going to exclude the number 2. So let's count the 0 and 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It means here the frequency is your 11. Now we have to write this frequency in tally marks. Tally marks means one we can write only single line. Two will write two lines. Three will write three lines. Four, four lines. Five, one, two, three, four and cut the lines. Then six, one, two, three, four, five and give one line six. So in this way we can write the tally marks. Let's write the tally marks for 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again cut. This is 10. 5 plus 5 10. And one more line that is 11. So this is our tally marks. Now come to the second interval. Second interval is 2 and 4. It means here which number we are going to include? 2 and 3 and excluding 4. So 2 and 3. Let's count the 2 and 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So... Frequency will be here 17. Now write down the tally marks for 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, cut 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, then 15, see 5, 5, 5. So 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 5, 15. 15, then 2 more lines, 1 and 2. So 15, 16, 17. Now see the next interval, interval 4 to 6. 4 to 6. Here we will include 4 and 5 and excluding 6. Count the 4s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here it is your 9. So 9 and write down the tally marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now 6 to 8. It means you have to count only 6. How many 6? 1, 2, 3. So here is 3. And write down the tally marks. 1, 2, 3. Now count this one. All this add. 11 plus 17 plus 9 plus 3. It will be your 14. So this 40 and this 40 should be same. Then only we can say our solution is correct. Now come to the second one. Construct a frequency table for following ages of 30 students using class interval 9 to 12. Here class interval is mentioned 9 to 12. If it is not mentioned then you can write yourself also. So some data are given. Again, what you have to do? First, you arrange the data in ascending order. So, we I already arranged in the ascending order. All the 6, all the 7, all the 8, all 9, 11, 12, 13, 15. In this way, I arranged in the ascending order. 
Now start with this highest observation. What is the highest observation here? 23. Lowest observation is 6. Range means highest minus lowest 23 minus 6. 23 minus 6 is 1. 17. Now class size. I selected here 6 to 9, 9 to 12, 12 to 15, 15 to 18, 18 to 21, 21 to 24. So in all the interval, the difference is 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the class size is your 3. Now let's count the frequencies. 6 to 9. 6 to 9 means here what number will be included? 6. 7 and 8. Let's count the 6, 7, 8, excluding 9. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here it is your 5. Now, write down the tally marks for 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and cut one line on these 4 lines. Next, 9 to 12, it means 9 to 12. Here what will be included? 9, 10 and 11. Excluding, excluding 12. So count it. 1, 2, 3, 4. Only 4. So write down the tally marks. Tally marks will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Next will be for 12 to 15. It means we have to see 12, 13 and 14. 12, 13 and 14. 1, 2, 3, 4. So again it is your 4. Write down the tally marks. 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, 15 to 18. It means 15, 16, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, 18 to 21. It means 18, 19 and 20. So, 1, 2, 3. So, here only 3. So, 1, 2, 3. Next will be your 21 to 24. 21 to 24 means you have to include 21, 22 and 23. So count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So write here 7 and write down the tally marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we have to add the frequency that is your total and it should be what? 30. Because here 30 students is given. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 plus 7 is your 30. See this is 30 and the given students is also 30. So in this way we have to make the frequency distribution table. Frequency distribution table for given data. Now with the help of this question number 7 and question number 8 you have to solve question number 9, 10, 11. So for today's assignment you have to do from question number 4 to question number 11 in your copy. Thank you.